Great. Okay, let's take a seated position. I need to switch from gallery view. So let's see. Just figuring out Zoom. So take up a seated position anyhow. Yeah, so you want to sit tall. Bear with me for a moment. There, so, okay. Hope I'm good. All right, so I think we're good to go. Say comfort for me. Just take a few minutes, allow your eyes to close. Okay, now allow it some sense of your physical body to come into awareness. And that's simply opening to a sense of your body's presence. Now with your eyes closed, your body is an abstract experience of something. Let's call that something, a sense of your own presence, aliveness. We want to hold that in conscious awareness. Just by noticing it. So in that space, then notice some movement associated with your breath. And simply holding awareness of your breath can spotlight that maybe it's not flowing as freely as you would like. And second consequence of holding awareness of your breath is that it can become more free without you doing anything other than being aware of it. Now through our class, we will breathe in and out through our nose. And let the focus of your breath be the area of your throat, towards the back of your mouth. And as you inhale, inhale upwards. So breathe in and breathe up towards your ribs and then lift your breast up. So as you inhale, you fill your lungs. And the exhale is a letting go. Okay, so it's very simple. Be aware of your body. Notice your breath. In the practice then, ensure that you're breathing. This needs to be like a little, little checklist. Ensure that you're breathing in and out through your nose. And that as you inhale, you breathe up towards your chest. And then you fill your chest. Okay, so I'll come back to that through the practice, but your own little like checklist when you find yourself wandered off into whatever, just oh, come back, notice your body, notice your breath. How is the breath? And then just breathe up towards, towards your chest and then 
Fail your test. Okay, good. So, open your eyes. Let's come to stand. Go to some movements. Easy, easy yoga. Stand your feet about hip width apart. Begin with our shoulders. So, very simple shoulder movements. Area that we tend to hold a lot of tension. Now let's uh, change direction. And uh, really get your awareness in there. Feel your shoulders. And let's go back again, opposite direction. Very good. We pause. Inhale, sweep both arms out, shoulder level. Now, as you exhale, wrap your arms. Inhale, open. Exhale, wrap, opposite arm and towel. We continue this. Inhale, open. Exhale, wrap. Each time you wrap, position a different elbow on top. You're looking to take your fingers towards your shoulder blades. Okay, good. Now next one, we hold. So wrap, cross, walk those fingers towards your shoulder blades. So with all of our shoulder work, what tends to happen is that we kind of lean back or we, or the elbows drop. So just, just find a point where your spine is neutral, elbows are lifting, and then relax your head and neck. Go to your checklist. So I will do this when I do my practice. I will just routinely come into say the pose and then I'll just check, okay. Am I not overdoing it? Got the right balance? Am I doing my ujjayi breath? Am I breathing up towards my ribs and then filling the chest? So it's like driving a car, you know, you're just always like checking in on things. Okay, so let's open. I changed across. Reach those fingers towards the shoulder blades. Lift the elbows, relax your head and neck. Hold the pose and breathe. Balance your breath so your inhale and exhale are of equal length. So that as much as you do movement, you're also practicing body awareness and breath awareness as you go. Great, okay. Three, two, and one. Release down. Shake out your arms for a moment or two. Free them up. Okay, good. So roll. So inhale, up. Exhale, back. All right. So some shoulder mobility. Now, as you go back, at some point, quite deliberately, inner rotate. Up. Inner rotate. Yep. So we're not just moving the arm, but we're also getting an inner and outer rotation. Good. Let's change direction. Back, up, and down. Outer rotation, and around. Up, down. Quite deliberate outer rotation, and around. Okay. So we're quite specific about that inner and outer rotation. And then let's change side. So we're not just absent-mindedly rolling our arm, but we're up, up back, inner rotate, and we continue. So we can give quite particular attention to the shoulder joint. Let's change direction, out of rotation and around. Out of rotation, up and around. Great. Three and two. And one. Okay, sideways stretch and we'll come back to our shoulder stand. So bring your feet together. Inhale up. And go up over your head. So just be aware of your lower back sacroiliac area there. Lengthen. If you care to take your top wrist and draw a little bit. Now again, don't force anything on your body. So you stay in that pose. Because if you start to force 
um, something on your body, your nervous system will react against you. So you're just kind of fighting against your nervous system. So just got to go to a stretch. That's okay. Breathe and feel. Let's inhale up. Exhale, release down. Opposite side, inhale, reach, extend. Don't push it, just go as far as it's okay. Again, the ribs might want to stick out, keep them in. If you want to assist, take hold of your wrist and draw. So then you got your checklist, right? Okay, you come into the pose. We're gonna be here for 30 seconds, maybe a bit more. Checklist, body awareness. Okay, breath. Are you breathing in and out through your nose? Are you breathing up towards your ribs, towards your chest, and then filling your chest? Great, good. And we come back. Exhale. Down. All right, back to shoulders. Feet hip width apart, arms come out. We've done this before. We elevate our shoulders, we depress our shoulders. Elevate, depress. Elevate, depress. Drop. So we lift and we drop. And we lift and we drop. And we lift and drop. Good. So a few more of these. These are great if you're spending a lot of time sitting now. Holding tension. Great. Up and down. Perfect. Pause. Then retraction, protraction. Arms stay as they are. We're moving our shoulder blades. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, separate your shoulder blades. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, separate. Inhale, retraction. Exhale, protraction. All right, good. So a few of these. So the arms are moving, but we're not moving the arms as such. We're moving our shoulder blades. Good. Retract, protract. Nice down shape. We bring those four movements together. All right, so let's do something like inhale, lift, exhale, squeeze, drop, separate. So lift, squeeze, drop, separate shoulder blades. Lift your shoulders, squeeze your shoulder blades, drop your shoulders, separate. Okay, a couple more, change direction. So I really begin to work at loosening up your shoulders. Nice pose, great, good wrists. Let's bring our hands together, our wrists together. Elbows can stay in and start to rotate your wrists. Very good. That's it. One direction, let's go in the opposite direction. Spring on a wrist. Again, if you're doing a lot of keyboard work, these can be worth doing, right? Change the direction one more time. That's it, loosen out your wrists. Perfect, hands together, lift your elbows, relax your head and neck. So just stand relax here. Uh, begin to gently press your hands together. We'll start to get a little bit of a stretch. Just lightness there again from keyboards and stuff. This is good. Lift your elbows, gently press your hands. So we can throw a uh, throw, but we can do a, a rotation here as well. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. We'll repeat this side to side. Great. Okay, let's do a few more. And pause, release, interlace your fingers, flip your hands away, relax your head and neck. Now, okay, so just stretch out your arms, relax your head and neck. Engage your pelvic floor and lower abdominals. Inhale, begin to lift your hands towards the ceiling. Now just watch, at some point you need to take care that you're not jutting out your floating ribs and that you're not tensing up around your head and neck. So 
Maybe your hands don't go all the way vertical over your head. That's fine. You also have the option to bend your elbows, right? So here then, pause. Now again, head and neck free from tension, but lift your outer shoulders. Keep those floating ribs in. Draw the elbows in. Push your hands towards the ceiling. For one, two, you're breathing now, and now through your nose. Three, four, and five. Release. Integrate your hands behind your back. Okay, roll those shoulders. Keep the floating ribs in. So reach your hands towards the floor. So initially, we're just reaching our hands towards the floor. Feel the stretch come into your shoulders. Engage pelvic floor, lower abdominals. That's on, they're on the checklist as well, right? So body awareness, okay, checklist, pelvic floor, lower abdominals, breathing in now through the nose, breathing up towards the ribs and then filling the chest. Good. Okay, now begin to take your hands from your back to whatever extent. Again, maintain the sense of uprightness, shoulders over your hips, good. Lift and breathe. Just come to a point where you have the right amount of challenge. Hold it there. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, good. Release out of that. Let's do our standing flow. So this is more flexion and extension. It's not a forward fold as such. Feet a little bit wider than hip width. Ah, so inhale, exhale, bend your knees, round your spine, it's okay now, and drop your head. And then inhale, stand up, reach up, a little bit of extension in the spine, a little bit of lean back, and then exhale, off you go again. So on the inhale, you're standing, you're reaching, you're extending, exhale, you're rounding your spine, bending your knees, and squatting down a bit. So just do a few more of these. Um, yeah, we're moving our body between full extension and then flexion. You know, we're bending our knees, we're hinging at our hips, we're rounding our spine. And it's just a nice little movement. This set us up to do some sun salutes probably. Great. Take two more. Move with your breath. And one. Okay, good, down. All right, let's do our standing balancing one. Stand on one foot for your left. Other foot comes back, softly, a little bit of a micro bend in the standing leg, arms come up. All right, so let's drop up and down. How about eight times or so? I will say eight, seven. Yeah, you got the option of doing this, right? Six, five, four, go for balance, building up lower back strength. Three, two, one. Take that knee, grab a hold of it. Stand up tall. Okay, so we just draw the knee in. Pause here, relax your shoulder. Right, lift, pull the knee in. One two, three, four, and five. Okay, let's switch sides. Arms out, all right. Very good. Okay, so we'll do a set of about 10, say eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and we move, we transition into extended leg stretch, a bent knee variation. That we hold, stand tall, checklist, body awareness, engage pelvic floor, lower abdominals, breathe up towards your ribs, towards your chest, good, one, two, 
three, four, and five. Nice. Okay, good. Come to face the front of your mat. We'll do some slow, slow salutations. Inhale, reach up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bend your knees. Fingertips to the floor. Let's do the lunge variation. So inhale, right foot to the back of your mat. Now bend your knee. Inhale, long spine, long spine. So the knee can be bent. That's it. Pause here. Pull that front hip in towards the midline. Great, good. Lengthen your spine. One, two, three, four. Pelvic floor lower abdominals engaged. And five. Okay, hands down. Take yourself into the high press. -up. Hold it here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do the transition to the lower plank. So keep your elbows in. You might just drop a fraction. Great. Point your toes. Keep your legs floating in the air. Engage your leg muscles, lower abdominals, pelvic floor. Draw the chest forward, shoulders back. Good. Then the last thing to come up, chin and head. Great. Exhale. Back into down dog. Now, bend your knees initially. Let's just get our spine long. Relax your head and neck. Engage your hands. Move your chest towards the floor and then back towards your legs. Great. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we're going to take our right foot to the front of the mat. Whenever you want to do that, take your back knee down, swing the leg up. It's all good. High fingertips, lunge. So keep your back knee bent. Pull the front hip back and in. Long spine, long spine. Very good. Our awareness into the whole hip pelvic area. Engage your pelvic floor, lower abdominals. Inhale, exhale through your nose. One. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, back to the front of your mat. You got it, good. Inhale, half a fold. Exhale, fold. Knees can be bent. Inhale, stand. Stretch, reach, hands together. Exhale. Mountain pose. Okay, we go again, leading with our left leg. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale on this left foot. Let's take it back. Now we're in our lunge again. Long spine. Pull the hip in, pull it back. One, two, three, four. Five, hands flat, back you come. So let's hold our high press up. Pelvic floor, lower abdominal, stretch into your heel. Lift your shoulders from your wrist. Protract, separate the shoulder blades a bit, so be strong. Pull the energy in towards the midline of the body. One, two, three, four, five. Lean the weight forward, flex your elbows, Keep the body, your ribs drop a little. Point your toes, legs are in the air. Shoulders back, chest forward, chin up. Back over your toes. Good, let's keep our knees bent again. We'll come to our legs in a bit. So for now, engage your hands. Take awareness into the shoulders. They tend to like compress and tighten. So, just loosen there, loosen your shoulders. Let them come free, let the shoulder blades come free to travel down the back a bit. 
and move your chest towards the floor. We saw you open in the whole sort of shoulder girdle area. Nice. Okay, one, two, three, back long, four, hands engaged, and five. Okay, so then that left foot comes back to the front of the mat, back knee bent, long spine. That's a good reach into your heel, relax the head and neck. One, two, keep, keep your spine long, three, four, five. Okay, let's come back to the front of the mat. Feet together, inhale, flat back, exhale, fold, good. Then bend your knees, inhale, stand up, reach up. Press your hands together, exhale. Then a trial work with step. This will be stepping towards the back of your mat. Let's just do some triangle poses. Feet nice and wide apart. Stretch your arms out and reach into your fingertips. Good. Now be careful here, but gently pull the legs in. So you should feel all these muscles fire up. Don't overdo it. Reach, extend. Pelvic floor, lower abdominals. Breathe up towards your ribs. Fill your chest, good. Auto rotate your arms. Inhale, stretch here. Okay, so hold it here. Again, head and neck relaxed. Interlace your fingers. Stretch. Very good. Pull the legs towards each other. Elbows come in. We'll lift your outer shoulders, stretch up, nice. Exhale, we're gonna bend the knees, hands come to the floor, walk your hands forward. And now begin to stretch your legs as well. So just watch your back, you don't want any big rounding going on. We're just beginning to introduce a stretch to our legs. Very good. So, your legs may not come straight, that's fine. Remember, we just want to stretch. Okay, um, we're going to go into the leg a little bit more. So, you're going to turn to the front of your mat. Boom. Take the back knee down. Stretch the front heel forward. Okay, so we can start to do some movement like this. Back knee is down. We just start to pivot on the front heel and move, stretching our legs. Very good. A few more of these. Then we hold. So stretch, lengthen your spine, and just come out over your leg to whatever extent. Nice stretch in your front leg. Maybe there's a bend, that's fine. One, two, three. Four, five, okay, turn, boom, back to front, boom, turn to the back. You got it? And then we pivot on the heel, we move forward and back. We start to stretch out our leg. Very good. Several dynamic movements. And then we hold, boom, get your stretch, long back. Okay, pull the toes back towards you, gauge your quad muscles. Breathe, just go as far as is okay. Let's get a nice stretch through your leg. One, two, three, four, and five. Up you come, back to front. And we can stretch out both legs probably a little bit more now. This kind of wide dog pose. Legs are nice and wide. And it's going to be wider than shoulder width. Open back your hips away from your legs. Good. One, two, three, 
four and five. And now you begin to heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Uh, hold them wider than hip width. Inhale, come on up. And take them wider again. So this is kind of harsh. So we're going to turn your feet up. <laughs> Not too much. But uh, because the wider you turn, the more challenge there is. So this is for our hips. Then we want to engage pelvic floor lower abdominals. We're going to sit down a bit, sit down a bit, sit down a bit. All right, good. We can take our hands out. So this way the bum can go out a bit. That's it. We're going to hold it. So remember earlier we pulled the legs in? Pull the legs in again. All right. Do your breath. One. Two. All right. Come on, come down, down to the lower maybe. Turn those legs out. Oh, this area here has been fired up. Uh, three. Four. And five, great, inhale, up you come. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Good, and turn, face the front of your mat. Now turn your back foot in a lot, right? So we'll do tense leg stretch. Face your hips forward, cage pelvic floor, lower abdominals. Inhale, lift your heart. Now I like going into the pose to softly bend the front knee, keep the back long, position your belly out over your thigh, and you can take hold of your leg, you need to stretch it, maybe your hands come to the ground. You know, it's no big deal about that, just what we do is stretch our front leg here, releasing or draping our body out over the leg, good. Relax your head and neck. One, two, so you're doing pelvic floor, lower abdominals engaged, stretching your leg. Inhale, exhale through your nose. Inhale, breathe up towards your ribs and towards your chest. Five, good, okay, bend the knee. Inhale, turn on your heels, boom, to the back of your mat. Back foot needs to turn a lot, otherwise you're going to be jamming on your knee. Face your hips forward, hands on your hips. Inhale, lift your heart. That's getting our spine long now. A little bend in the front knee, hinge at your hips. Get your belly coming out over the thigh. All right, maybe onto the thigh. Hands at some point will come to your leg, maybe to the floor. Inhale, one more time to lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Good, just get a stretch. One, two, three, four, and five. Bend the knee, push into your foot. Inhale, come all the way up. Turn all the way. Pull the front of your mat. Step to the front of your mat. Sun salutes. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, hinge at your hips. Fingers to the floor. Inhale, flat back. This time we'll do the classic one. Hands down, both feet to the back of your mat and down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Now. We can start to stretch our legs because we have been. Get your back long, engage your hands, relax your head and neck, open the backs of your legs, reach your heels towards the mat, nice. Move your chest down and then back towards your thighs. One, two, three, four, and five. Look forward. Inhale back to the front of your mat into flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand, stretch, press your hands together. Exhale, mountain pose. Let's do two more. Inhale, Exhale. Inhale, flat back. Hands flat. 
feet to the back of the mat and down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Good. So adjust your pose as you need to. That may mean having a little bend in your knee. You're still getting to stretch. Keep your spine long. It may mean stepping your feet a bit closer to your hands or further back. Just think of creating length and space. Then body awareness. Pelvic floor, lower abdominals engaged. Breath, ujjayi breath. And breathing up towards the ribs. And then the chest. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. Inhale, look forward. Come back to the front of your mat into a flat back. Exhale, fold, inhale, stand, stretch and reach up, exhale. Okay, one more, A, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Three Bs, body, breath, and B, be in the present moment. Stay with what's happening now, good. Okay, from here, let's sink our knees down so that we are positioned on all fours. Okay, let's do cat cow. Wonderful movement for your spine. Exhale, round the spine. Look back between your thighs. Inhale, arch your back. Open your shoulders to look forward. We'll do about eight of these. Really get into the movement in your spine. Don't force anything. Don't try and um, go to any sort of an extreme, particularly if you're very uh, flexible in your lower back. So don't dip into that. Great. We'll do three more, I guess. Good. Okay, mid spine, open spine, top spine twist. We're going to take uh, one arm, tread it through the other, and get your shoulder to the floor. Now, I find that sometimes I need to take my knees in and up kind of diagonally across, or I need to take my knees wider apart, or I need to move my knees away from my shoulders or closer, it depends. But usually adjusting yourself somewhere like that, you'll get to get a rotation in your shoulder down. Okay, good. We'll hold it here. Keep breathing. There's a thoracic twist. Good. One, two, three. So some of you want the hand that's gone forward, you could come back over and around to the opposite quad, thigh. Just give me a little bit of lever. Yeah, that's okay, right? So most of us will have our hands down. Uh, two, one, very good. Inhale, up you come. Oh, let's lengthen our spine, point your toes, sit back. Walk your hands forward. Now, head and neck relaxed. Push on your hands. Just push on your hands. Just get a little bit more uh, sense of movement or energy or awareness into your lower back. Good. And so then inhale, come up. All fours. Opposite side. Arm reaches up. Boom. Turns. Shoulder down. And as I say, you might just need to take your knees wider, maybe take them diagonal. 
move the, your shoulders closer or further away from your knees. You can see, stay like this, or you want to take your top hand around your back, get yourself a nice twist. Just make sure you're not pressing on your neck. Um, okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Out you come. Great. Sit back again, lengthen your spine. Just push the mat away. Just get a little bit more uh, sensation, I guess. Awareness or opening in the lower back. Good. And from there, pop yourself up and down and onto your front. Okay, sphinx into salamander. Do this a lot myself. Now, elbows underneath your shoulders. Fingers spread wide. Shoulders come back. This pose is built from the feet up. Press down on your toes. Ankles tend to collapse. That will ripple all the way up into your back. So that's why we give attention to feet, point your toes. Engage your uh, leg muscles. Draw the air towards you. Shoulders back. Pelvic floor, lower abdominals. Now, stay looking at the floor. Curl your chest forward. Then lift your chin and hold it here. Chris, so you're curling your chest forward. You're pulling the air back towards you but you're working your muscles as well. Now, right knee bends up and out to the side, like a Spider-Man climb, I suppose. We open our grind here. We do this in the terrestrial class. I've been doing it a lot. So heavy on the inner, kind of inner hip. Now, be aware of your back, your lower back. Stay here, or if you want to, Take your hand. Again, be aware of your back. Don't overdo it. Just get a nice rotation. Doesn't have to be anything extreme. Let it be pleasant. Good. Sink the hip. Rotation comes from the spine. One, two, three. Sink the hip. Four. Hardly turn your head, right? And five. Down, boom, sphinx, opposite side, knee bends, you got it. Okay, so sink, sink the hip, curl your chest, stay here. If you like a rotation, let it come from whole hip, pelvic area, belly, ribs, chest, head and neck relax. Great. One, two. So these are uh, this particular sort of three connected poses are my favorite ones at the moment. Four and five. Good. Down. Hands by your ribs. Put the cobra again. Point your toes. Ankles tend to collapse. Keep them in. Engage your leg muscles. Uh, pelvic floor, lower abdominals. Now hands by your ribs. Elbows stay in. They're going to stay bent. Shoulders release from the ears. Pull the air towards you. Tailbone down. Keep the elbows bent. Keep looking at the floor. Curl your chest. Curl your chest. Curl your chest. So lift, 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 lift. Elbows stay in. Good. Engage pelvic floor, lower abdominals. Don't force anything on your spine. Remember, if you do, your nervous system will just start to counteract that. And it's not going to lead to deeper stretch. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale down. Keep your hands by your ribs. Inhale and exhale. Tuck your tailbone. Lengthen your spine. And we're in the down dog. Great, good. That will hold. Reach your heels towards the floor. Engage your hands. Okay, time check. Relax your head and neck. Sink your heels towards the mat. 
Move your chest down, back. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's see, maybe we'll drop down onto our knees and we'll just flip our legs come to the front all the way okay so some seated poses knees bent i would say high fingertips high arches fingers by your hips inhale lengthen your spine you got it good relax your head and neck now we want to keep that uprightness in our spine and stretch the legs so start to stretch your legs or maybe you maintain a bend in the knees that's fine engage your pelvic floor lower abdominals good one two three four five lean back fingers point forward gauge pelvic floor lower abdominals flex your elbows now again move your back with awareness so arch your back outer shoulders back so think again just what's going on here back of your thighs down arch your back so as opposed to trying to like make a pose just break it down okay i'm arching my back open the chest open the ribs so you're not you're not forcing a shape good one two three four Five, look forward, point your hands out to their respective sides. Bend your knees, step your heels in. Pelvic floor, lower abdominals. Inhale, scoop the tailbone away. Lift your hips up, roll your shoulders, relax your head. Exhale down. Nice for the back as well. Let's do about 10 of these. So we'll say eight, inhale up, and seven. You're, you are looking to have your hips aligned with your knees. So for some of us, that won't happen. That's fine. Don't force it, right? That's, you're just meeting some um, probably lack of strength somewhere. Okay. That will build up in time. We'll say four, three, two, and one. Bum down. Stretch your left leg forward, pull the right heel in, let your knee fall out to the side. So head to knee pose. Okay, we've got a hip opening. Inhale, tall. <coughs> Exhale. Fold up over your leg. So hands can come either side of your leg. Maybe you'll hold your leg, maybe you hold your foot, maybe you hold your toe. All are good. Take it to your heel and breathe so again don't sort of think oh, this is the shape i got to get into it think okay i'm stretching my legs stretch your leg kick into your heel you have a sideways opening in your hip you have a stretch of the adductor muscles and maybe the knees up that's fine that's some tightness in the hip so don't force it one two three four and five Inhale up. Let's go into side space. So take your leg out. Inhale, sit up. So this might be enough, right? Because this can be a challenging pose. Legs are wide. Again, if there's a lot of pulling or strain in your lower back, bend your knees to take that pressure away. Because it's the tightness in your legs that's causing your back to round. So there's no point rounding your back and having your legs down, <laughs> not working on your legs. So tall spine. Oh yeah, and then kick into your heels. Very good. So here, stay here, or maybe come forward a bit. Walk your hands forward. So it's a strong stretch in your legs. Don't overdo it. Engage your pelvic floor, lower abdominals. Again, and think, instead of thinking of going down and forward, just think stretch. Stretch, 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 stretch. One, two, three, four and five up we can move into opposite side good inhale and stand up 
fold, stretch your leg. Good. Now, wherever the stretches, keep your spine tall. Checklist, body awareness. Pelvic floor lower abdominals engaged. About like 12, 20%. You're not gripping, just engaging. Breath. Breathing in and out through your nose. Ujjayi breath. Breathing up towards your chest. And then stretch. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale up. Let's repeat. Legs wide. Side straddle. This may be as far as you go. Get the opening in your hips. Stretch in your legs. Hold. Some of us will be going forward, perhaps. All good. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, good. Up. Lie on your back. Nice. Hug your knees. Stretch into your heels. So there's a little one for um, kind of core strength. You see, kind of, let's push into that. Now we take our keep our legs together. Take your shins parallel to the floor, and lift up. Now you can use you can use your hands against your legs to assist um, in lifting upper body. You know, not upper body, upper half of the upper body, shoulder blades up. That's it. Now, stay using your hands if you need to, to support. You're just going to find this whole area of the belly, abdominal starting to fatigue. Uh, not more challenge if you let your hands float in the air and more up straight. Now, so where your shoulders are, that's your base, right? We're going to do little pulses up and down, but they're not going to drop lower than where you began, right? So up and down, that's your base. So we'll say 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold it, lift, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Nice. Hold your knees. Recline your spine. Rock and roll. A little bit left and right. A little bit left and right. Very good. Eyes closed, gently rolling left and right. We'll do a passive um, stretch for our hips and shoulders. So feet down, feet together, release your knees out to their sides, left and right. And pull the heels a bit closer into your groin. Take awareness into your lower back and decompress it so you might re Reposition your waist or your back ribs. Just neutral spine there. That's all we want. Okay. Interlace your fingers. Point your index finger, your first finger. Inhale. Release your hands behind your head. Now, some of us will bend our elbows a lot to achieve that. But you are looking to work towards having your arms straight and your finger uh, down. Now, take awareness to your head and neck and make sure that there's no tension there, you're not compressing. Next adjustment, become aware of your back ribs and the, the bottommost ribs. If they're in the air, they probably are. You're over uh, arching in your lumbar spine. So take those back ribs down. So pull the back ribs down. You pull the floating ribs, front ribs into your body. And yeah, your knees probably come up. That's fine. Now we're actually getting to work in the groins and the hips. So let's stay here for about 30 more seconds. So you don't want to flatten the lumbar spine. You just want to bring the back ribs down. Okay, and allow the groins to open. Draw the elbows in a bit closer. Slide your fingers towards the floor behind you. Relax your head and neck. One, two, three, 
four and five. Okay, release your hands, release your knees, hug your knees, hug your knees, good. Stretch your legs towards the front of the mat. Take your arms out from your side. <clears throat> we'll just take about 90 seconds in relaxation pose, and then we'll finish with a few rounds of breath work. So 90 seconds is not so long. You're not going to go to any happy place. Just, I'm gonna sit up. <clears throat> just uh, for those 90 seconds, just hold your body in awareness. So rest with awareness of your body. Okay, once again, come back to having a sense of yourself. Come back to having a sense of the space around you. Begin to move your fingers, move your toes, move your head a little bit, stretch back behind your head, hug your knees, whatever feels good. So that when you're ready, you can roll over onto your side <clears throat> and from your side, sit up and we'll take a seated position. We'll do maybe five rounds of balanced breath practice. Balanced breath practice, sit up tall, but then relax, right? Because we want to have our body um, able to move. Close your eyes. Turn your gaze inward. Relax your body, breathing in and out through your nose, inhale for one, two, three. exhale, three, two, one, inhale slow, one, two, three, exhale slow, three, two, one. Two more rounds. Inhale up towards your ribs. Inhale up towards your chest. And then exhale, dropping your chest, dropping your ribs. Final round. Inhale. One, two, three. Exhale. Three, two, one. Normal breath, eyes closed, place one hand on your heart, place one hand on your belly, inwardly, quietly repeating, may my practice benefit my body, benefit my mind, may my practice benefit my body, and benefit my mind. Next inhale, open your eyes, exhale, release your hands, and we're finished our morning practice. So guys, appreciate you coming along, bringing your energy to the practice. Enjoy the rest of your day and hopefully see some of you during the week as well. Thanks, Jonah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Donald. Thanks. Hi, Maisie. Thanks, Donald. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, Donald. See you guys. Bye.